Neti, a very good morning to you. So I've just outlined uh, the, sco the scope or the scale of this 450 species being traded in large numbers. What's the money like attached to this uh, particular trade? Right. Uh, it's actually quite a formal and lucrative trade. Um, the problem is not many countries have an exact number for it, and we have a number from the USA uh, which pegged it at over a billion dollars in uh, uh, around five years ago. So, uh, so it's quite a formal and lucrative trade, and that's why, and it's uh, increasing every year. How prevalent then is the trade in this country? Uh, thankfully, in South Africa, there isn't much. Uh, as far as we are aware of, there isn't much import of uh, exotic pet amphibians, but there is definitely a uh, pet reptile trade. So you have pet uh, snakes and uh, chameleons and so on. There was a study a while ago from the University of Stellenbosch which put it at uh, around 115 species of reptiles traded uh, which were doc documented to move around in high volume. Thankfully, we haven't had uh, an invasion of any of those uh, uh, exotic pets yet. But it is just a matter of time. With these kind of things, uh, there is a concept of uh, invasion debt that the, trend, the trade of the current day will shape uh, the uh, species we have in the future. Now, there are two consequences here from what I understand, having had a look at the study. One is that uh, there are certain populations of amphibians that uh, now risk uh, being overexploited, and therefore uh, I would imagine that extinction would be down the line. The other issue is, and I mentioned in my introduction to our conversation, people release pets into the wild. That results in biological invasion. That's right. And the third um, is uh, associated diseases which come with these uh, pets. Uh, for example, there is a recent uh, a case of salamander fungus in Europe, and that comes from Asia and the Asiatic salamanders that they imported into Europe through the pet trade. And uh, so those kind of diseases have caused large-scale mortality of native and uh, endemic salamanders uh, in some European countries. So it is a big uh, threat indeed. Uh, just to recap the three uh, threats, as you said, one is uh, overexploitation uh, of uh, wild populations. This was seen in many frogs uh, in Madagascar, and uh, this now as the trade incorporates more and more species, it, it is bound to have an effect um, on other species. In South Africa, a few years ago, there, were, uh, there was a consignment caught of rain frogs being exported, uh, illegally transported out of South Africa. And th these frogs occur only in very f few parts of the world, and they can definitely have a, a decline in their populations. As far as invasive species is concerned, the pet trade is now the primary pathway through which uh, pet, um, uh, any vertebrates uh, become uh, invasive, so mammals, birds, there are lots of parrots in trade, there are lots of reptiles, pythons uh, in trade, uh, and so are amphibians. So the pet trade is something to watch out for. And just very quickly, very difficult, I imagine, to uh, police, control, and regulate. Yes, uh, to some extent, some countries have had success, like Australia. Uh, they have completely uh, secured their borders in terms of exotic pets coming into their countries. Uh, but in other countries, it is, uh, it is a, a free pass for anything. But there is the, the other way around is for the consumer to be aware themselves, as far as I think uh, that these pet owners are well-meaning individuals who care for these pet amphibians or the pet reptiles, and they should definitely be aware of uh, where their pets is coming from. Is it wild caught? Is it captive bred? Uh, is, and they should be aware of not releasing it into the environment and even uh, releasing uh, native individuals which you have caught and back to the environment. It is They think it is a well-meaning act of kindness, but it sometime, uh, sometimes ends up harming the native populations. Probably the worst thing that you can do. Um, Nitya Mohanty, thank you very much indeed from the uh, University of uh, Stellenbosch.